In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. My brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done, what I have failed to do. Through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask, Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. And let us pray. As we walk in this Holy Week, we remember yesterday the Passion of Jesus. We remember his betrayal. We remember his abandonment. We ask that we know these ways, but also know the way of Jesus, who continued into Jerusalem. His love, his service, we join with him this week. For God, by whose wondrous grace we are enriched with every blessing, grant us so to pass from former ways to newness of life, that we may be made ready for the glory of the heavenly kingdom. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. reading from the prophet Isaiah. Here, my servant, whom I uphold, my chosen one, in whom my soul delights. I have given him with my spirit that he may bring true justice to the nations. He does not cry or shout aloud, or make his voice heard in the streets. He does not break the crushed reed, nor quench the wavering flame. Faithfully he brings true justice. He will never waver, nor be crushed, until true justice is established on earth, for the islands are waiting on his law. Thus says God the Lord, He who created heavens and spread them out, who give shape to the earth and what comes from it, who give breath to his people and life for the creatures that move in it. I, the Lord, have called you to serve cause the cause of right. I have taken you by the hand and formed you. I have appointed you as covenant of the people and the light of the nations. To open eyes of the blind, to free captives from prison, and those who live in darkness from the dungeon. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The 
response is, the Lord is my light and my help. The Lord is my light and my help. The Lord is my light and my help. Whom shall I fear? The Lord is a stronghold of my life. Before whom shall I shrink? The Lord is my light and my help. When evildoers draw near to devour my flesh, it is they, my enemies and foes, who stumble and fall. The Lord is my light and my help. Though an army encamp against me, my heart would not fear. Though war breaks out against me, even then, would I trust. The Lord is my light and my help. I am sure I shall see the Lord's goodness in the land of the living. Hope in him, hold firm and have heart. Hope in the Lord. The Lord is my light and my Hail to you, our King. You alone have compassion on our sins. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Six days before the Passover, Jesus went to Bethany, where Lazarus was, whom he had raised from the dead. They gave a dinner for Jesus. Mary brought one pound of very costly ointment, pure nard, and with it anointed the feet of Jesus. Wiping them with her hair, the house was full of scent of the oil. Then Judas Iscariot, the one of his disciples, the man who was to betray him, said, why wasn't this ointment sold for 300 denarii and the money given to the poor? Judas said this not because he cared about the poor, but because he was a thief. He was in charge of the common fund and used to help himself. So Jesus said, leave her alone. She has to keep this scent for the day of my burial. You have the poor with you always. You will not always have me. Meanwhile, a large crowd of Jews heard that he was there and came not only of the account of Jesus, but also to see Lazarus whom he had raised from the dead. Then the chief priests decided to kill Lazarus as well, since it was on his account that many Jews were leaving them and believing in Jesus. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. And let us pray for those who suffer the consequences of this current pandemic. That God, the Father, may grant health to the sick, strength to those who care for them, and comfort to the families 
and salvation to all who have died. This is our prayer today in our church here in St. Vincent de Paul, here and beyond in our church throughout the world. We pray, Our Lady Mary, the Mother of Jesus, wraps her mantle around us at this time. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all the church. Look graciously, O Lord, upon these sacred mysteries. We celebrate here that and may what you have mercifully provided to cancel the judgment incurred bear for us the fruit in eternal life. Through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, for the days of his saving passion, his glorious resurrection, are approaching, by which the pride of the ancient foe has vanished, and the mystery of our redemption in Christ is celebrated. Through him the host of angels adores your majesty and rejoices in your presence forever. May our voices, we pray, Join with theirs in one chorus of exalting praise as we acclaim.
Indeed, holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them, like the Jewful, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed, and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and gave him thanks and broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, the supper was ended. Jesus took the chalice and once more giving thanks, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and the eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world, Bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Noel, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, that we may merit to be coerced to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, 
in the unity of the Holy Spirit. All glory and honor is yours forever and ever. the Savior's command and form by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days. By the help of your mercy, we may always be free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. And the peace of the Lord be with you all. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed.
Let us pray. Strengthened by the blessings of your sacraments, we pray, O Lord, that through them we may constantly be cleansed of our sins and faults, and by following Christ, hasten the steps upwards towards you. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Holy Michael, Archangel, defend us in the day of battle. Be our safeguard against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do thou, O Prince, O heavenly hosts, by the power of God, thrust down to hell Satan and all the evil spirits who wander through the world for the ruin of souls. Amen. Tomorrow's Mass will be at 10 a.m. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass is ended. Let us go and announce the Gospel of the Lord. Thanks be to God.